MIT Whiting and I'm doing my project on the Republic of Cape Verde. The location is 16 degrees north and 24 degrees west. And it is two main groups of islands with all consisting of 10 main ones that are just off the coast of Africa and are volcanic origin. Because of the volcanoes slowly flowing, it makes the climate hot and humid towards the middle, but around shore, the cool ocean breeze regulates the temperature, making it a large population around the edges of the island. The population is 538,535 July 2014, and salt has become a very important expert, export. The people in Cape Verde are very open and happy. They consider it a great insult to pass someone on the street without greeting them. That is one of their great strengths. They value being very sweet and helpful. Their main language is Portuguese, and they will joke around a lot in that language. They, al they although communicate in a very loud way, they live in hard ways to keep food on their plate, and that makes them surprisingly humble, especially because of their circumstances. They are very proud of being Cape Verdean as a young country they are proud of being independent and that keeps them upbeat. They began as a country in 1975, but in 1937 they found it and it was a slave trade route. So most people there are European or African region of origin. They, although mostly are European or African origin, they say I am not European, I am not African, I am Cape Verdean. There are essentially three seasons there, a hot season, a rainy season, and a windy season. And although the stairs states vary, it always stays hot. They wear hiking sandals called chacos, and they probably would wear them daily. Most islands don't have painted roads. Instead, it's cobblestone or rough broken rock. The last alternative is dirt roads. The majority, the majority of houses there are cinder block cubes with sometimes dogs on the roof. The stores are really small and are cheap are really cheap to buy things from other places. The other way people sell is they would walk around the streets and yell what they were selling so people in the homes would come out and buy it off the street. These islands are all inhabited except for one called Santa Luzia. The ones that are inhabited are Santa Sin, Santa Town, Sal Ovista, Praia or Tan Tiosa. Mayo Togo and Brava. These islands are very small. The biggest one can fit in Utah Valley. Most five or ten miles across and have only six thousand to ten thousand people on them. They're all very different, however they're they're very different in landscape and people. Some some are very green and others are desert like. Cape Verdean beach people's diet is very simple. Rice, beans, corns, fish and chicken. There's no wildlife, but some very rare birds but people bring them over. Some people with religion most common are Roman Catholicism and have a tradition where they seven days after a baby is born throw a siesta and seven days after a death a celebration of their life is thrown but the actual funeral is two or three or two or three days after death some people after the dad dies the mom runs through the streets shouting for a long time as far as timing the place is very Undis unindustrial and an hour late is common and not frowned upon. People will meet daily in the town plaza to discuss their 
days and talk about their um, week. Sometimes the stories and proverbs of their ancestors are all that they have, which makes them really valuable. The funny thing I found about scolding is they move their thinker back and forth like a teenager in a cartoon show. They always take their time, and if they can, bathe frequently. A holiday they celebrate is Fiesta de São Jano, Festival of St. John on the 24th of June. Some environmental concerns are soil erosion, deforestation, water shortages, and overfishing. The percentages of ethnic groups are Creole, 71%, African, 28%, and European, 1%. They would speak Portuguese and Creole. Each island have a different accent to Creole, and another island difference is there actually are two kinds of Creole, a very simple language and very useful. The most popular way of travel is Jose, which is a 15 passenger car in the richer parts of the public transportation. These quantities of this poor but very upbeat, generous, furious, and courteous island are a very fun and interesting place to go and see, and a very interesting way to spend your money on salt. I hope you enjoyed my documentary on Cape Verde.